We're here at All Energies 2024 at the amazing Clean Energy stand, looking really good, and I'm speaking to Mahin. Hi. Could you introduce yourself, Mahin, and tell us what you do at Clean Energy? Yes, so I'm Mahin, uh, the lead product solutions engineer at Clean Energy. Yep. So I started my career in Clean Energy as a tech support engineer, and then I moved up the ladders, and right now I'm looking after the ground mount space. Right particularly the new products, the D1P tracker that you see over here yeah. and the icon that you see on the other side. So we're standing in front of this tracker and I was just saying before off camera, it wasn't that long ago that a single axis tracker ground mount wasn't cost effective, but Correct. That's, that's completely changed, hasn't it? It has, it has. In some cases, these trackers can come at a much lower price than even some of the fixed till. Wow. Yes, so it is more economical to go for trackers, especially for the large scale projects. I would say when we are um, when you are using this tracker, we'd probably be aiming somewhere around the 10 meg right. um, projects for ground mount. That's where you really get the uh, uh, benefits of using. Is that the where you hit the sweet spot? Do you from a from a, uh, like the levelized cost? You know, all all of that kind of financial Correct. stuff. In some cases, you can um, get it at much lower project sizes as well, mm. depending on the project conditions, of course. But yes, trackers definitely are getting much more feasible compared to what they were in the past. Now, does this have does this, this have a predictive aspect? Do you use some kind of algorithm in regards yep. to what's happening with the weather and what's going to Correct. happen with the weather? Correct. That's yeah. a very good question. Yeah. So we have something called the astronomical algorithm. Wow, that's so, a mouthful. <laughs> yeah, it is. Um, so what it does is basically the algorithm tells a tracker where the sun is at any given time of the year, mm -hmm. so it can track the sun effectively. Apart from that, it does have some feedback sensors as well, yep. so that it can see how much it's deviating from the actual position of the sun and adjust accordingly. This also comes with a few other protective features as well, uh, flood stow, wind stow, and this basically means if you have excessive Right. of those things that are going to go to a protective position where the panels are flat. Right. Now, what about hail events? We, we, we're seeing some radical weather Correct. around the world. Um, it's a no-brainer that obviously a system like this must have some kind of protective mechanism. Yes. And what is that mechanism? Um, it's called hail stow yeah, right. as well. So when it hails a lot, it will turn the panels yep. into a protective angle yep. at which the hail direction or the hail hitting is minimized. Um, it comes with about five protective features. Right. So hail, storm, uh, hail, flood, yep. you get the wind, you yep. get the snow. There's one more as well, which I can't <laughs> really recall. But Lightning. yes, <laughs> no. could be, not but, yet, but yes. So with be. the hail, is it, are we going down to about a 70 degree tilt or something like that? It's going to be against the hail. So whichever direction it is, it's going to be against that. Um, okay, so the hail's coming down on this angle and the, the tracker would would track to like that. <laughs> right, okay. There so is it, a bit of manual um, input needed at, okay. at, in some cases. So it can be co controlled remotely using cloud-based SCADA. Yep. So you can change the angle to whatever you like. So you, you can obviously see from your house how the hail is reacting right. and basically give it input to respond accordingly. Yes, uh, that, makes, that makes sense. Now, I notice a lot of single axis trackers tend to go with a single panel situation. So obviously this is designed for a very large format. You're talking 500, 600, 700 watt panels. Yes, correct. Ideal for this. Whereas obviously with the, the static, um, static ground mounts, you're talking about maybe uh, two or three panels. Or, and some in a, in a landscape configuration, but this yep. one, it's a single panel situation. Correct, so this one we call a D1P tracker. Yep. So 1P basically means one panel in portrait. Yep. We also have the D2P, which oh. is two panel wow. in portrait. But obviously then your row spacing becomes wider, um, but at the same time, row spacing is not only determined by the shading aspect of the panels, but also the access from a maintenance perspective and, of course, the installation perspective. Correct. Yeah, so really interesting. Yep. I, I love this. Now, there's, you've got lots of other products at Clanergy. What do I see over here with another ground mount system? So that's our uh, one of the flagship products for this year. Yep. It's called the Solar Terrace Icon. So it makes the best use of hot dip galvanized steel and MAC coated steel on top. Yep. So Sorry, what's the other steel on top? MAC coated. So this is something many people haven't heard before. Oh. So when it comes to steel, there are two commonly um, practiced treatment in the industry. Yep. So one is the hot dip galvanized, hot dip which gal. you yep. always Great know. Great penetration, better than yep. mold. Yep. 
and MAC is probably better than all of them. So right. it's like a special magnesium, aluminium, zinc alloy, right. which is placed on the steel and it makes it very robust to corrosion. Right. So if Does you it have that self-healing property? That correct. I was really? going to come yeah, to wow, that. Wow. So this coating is also used in our cable trays. Wow. And over there, yep, we do market it as a self-healing for scratches or small, um, let's say when you're working, you, don't, you can't always maintain the proper thing, right? So you might have small scratches and things like that. So it does self-heal over time. Now, with the, uh, this ground mount system, what, what's the name of it again? The other, the one so over it's here? called the Solar Terrace Icon. Solar Terrace Icon, yeah. yes. Um, it's, um, it's quite innovative. I'll give you a few key features of yep. it. So you see the clamps. Uh, yep. So we have left, left some loose at the very end as well. Some clamps, yes. Yep. And those basically penetrate the panel, so there is no need for grounding clip. Right. So the whole arding is from the panel through the frame to the post. Lovely. So no arding cables needed on this one. Excellent. Um, another useful feature is this can tolerate ground slopes of up to 30%. Wow. Yep. So you don't have to, no laser leveling potentially? Um, you would still have to do that leveling, okay. but imagine your ground is like this instead of like a flat one. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Well. So the whole rail system is going to follow the slope of the ground in case you have a tilt, and that is up to 30%, which we can tolerate. Okay, so these, this is, is the option pile driven only, or do you have a uh, earth screw option for them? Um, what, what, what sort of, when so, it comes to actually coming in contact with the ground? Yep. So pile driven or rammed is probably the best solution. Yeah. So when it comes to large scale project, that tends to be the most economical one. Yes. But we do have option for concreting, of course, let's say you run into bedrock or something like that. Mm -hmm. And eventually there's going to be a ground screw option as well. Yeah, wow, that's great. Because you know, you're treading more lightly. Also, that's, it's great if the, pla if the area has to be remediated for whatever reason yes. and the system removed. Now, Glenn's got a lot of other products. What about the cable tray? Tell us about the runner. So we did touch up a bit on that, about yeah. the coating yeah. side. Yeah. So runner now basically has a wider range. So it has been there in the market for about two years already. So we have 150, 300, 450, and 600 right. with cable trays, all MAC finish. And that's that special magnesium alloy I was talking about, magnesium aluminum zinc. That means self-healing. So any small scratches, you don't have to spray zinc like you would have to in a standard cable tray. We do have a special um, test that was done with the runner product and the other competitors out there. We didn't name anyone, but you can clearly see who's the winner after the salt spray test. All right, all right. Look, I really appreciate your time yeah. here to, uh, today, mate. My a word of advice, get yourself comfortable shoes or a nice spongy mat because your feet are going to hurt uh, at Thursday afternoon. <laughs> Congratulations on um, presenting some wonderful products and um, I'll chat to you later on off camera. Yep, thank you so much. See you later. See ya.